about him, cowboy? Angry cowboy stand on your town the line. What's going on, Cowboys Nation and angry Cowboys fans around the world? Y'all know who it is. It's your man, the angry Cowboys fan. And as you guys can see, I am happier than a pig in shit right now. Why am I so happy, you ask? I'm happy that the conundrum is over. I am happy that Dak has finally seen his bag. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys are aware, as you guys put me on to, when I was scrolling, I actually seen it. Rain Dakota Prescott has signed with the Dallas Cowboys for $240 million for the next four years, which means he's at $60 million. And that's the thing that everybody was saying was that Dak Prescott was going to make $60 million. My thing is that Jerry... Why not get ahead of the game and actually pay him 60 million so that it doesn't go up to 65 million, 68 million? Catch him right now, get the deal done, and you got it done. Oh man, it wasn't on my birthday, but it was close to my birthday that I can consider it a birthday present. Thank you, Jerry Jones, for getting the job done. We truly appreciate you. We truly thank you. We want to hope that you were listening to the fans whenever you made this decision. But I also want to talk about this decision real quick because we learned today that Dak Prescott was signed to $240 million. We learned today. The news learned today. Track put it up today. This wasn't done today. Honestly, if you want my honest opinion and I don't have anybody in the star, this is just my honest tinfoil hat take on it. But I feel that this was already done. I feel it was already done. I feel C.D. Lamb's contract was already done for the simple fact whenever Jerry, whenever everybody was tweeting that about Jerry and C.D. Lamb just responded with LOL. I believe that it was done at that point. And CD Lamb's LOL was just like, look at these clowns, man, putting it all in the news. They don't know I'm already sitting pretty with my contract. Was Dak Prescott and Jerry Jones at the star this morning sitting down, writing this out and signing the contract? They got to be in Cleveland to face the Cleveland Browns today. They didn't have time to sign a contract, get it all done and then head out to Cleveland. That's why I feel this contract was already said and done. Jerry wanted to milk the media. No diddy. He wanted to milk this topic. He wanted to milk it for everything that it's worth so he could get all the publicity, all the headlines out of it until he couldn't get it anymore. Until it started making him look bad. And when Stephen A started talking about him in a bad light on first take, that's when the talk started ramping up. Stephen A has this conversation with him at the Ford Center. And now all of a sudden, a few days later, Dak Prescott he signed to the Dallas Cowboys. I love it. Angry Cowboys fan family. I love it. And I am so glad that this got done before the start of the regular season. I mean, I know today is the start of the regular season for the Dallas Cowboys, but I am so glad that Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, they don't have to take the field without a new contract. I know it doesn't kick in this year. It kicks in when... Their old contracts are done, but at least they have the security in their heads going into this game that they are solid and good for the next four years, Cowboys Nation. But with all that being said, I just want to turn my attention real quick to one clip that I found on X. It's from Bill Belichick, but Clarence Hill Jr. reposted the post. And in this clip, Bill Belichick is giving his honest opinion about Dak Prescott and what's going on with the Dallas Cowboys and their matchup against the Cleveland Browns today. So I want to take a listen to that and then come back and give y'all my raw and uncut. So, Cowboys Nation, let's go ahead and take a listen to Bill Belichick. The Tuesdays that I had trying to stop Montana and Rice. Those are the two guys in San Francisco, Lamb and Prescott. Those are the two guys we're talking about with the Cowboys. And, you know, when you look at those guys, just their production, Montana, a tremendous career. I mean, my God, yeah. you know, 273 touchdowns, you know, 92 passer rating. You know, you think about how good Montana was 
Uh, I mean, the numbers are just staggering. But then let's look at Prescott. You know, Prescott last year under Mike McCarthy's kind of, you know, new offense where Mike took over the play calling. Mike kind of reinstilled some of his West Coast philosophies from Green Bay. 4,500 yards, 105 quarterback rating. Montana was 92. So, you know, Prescott had a tremendous year last year. Uh, you know, if he can re- maintain that same type of production this year, you know, Dallas is going to be, you know, it can be a hard team to beat all year, but this will be a big challenge for the Cleveland defense. Yeah, and, you know. Cowboys Nation, that is coming from Bill Belichick. That is coming from the coach that coached the GOAT, Tom Brady, into multiple Super Bowls. This is coming from Bill Belichick, the guy that you guys want to come to Cowboys Nation to be the next coach. He is telling you that Dak Prescott is it. He is telling you that Dak Prescott and CeeDee Lamb, their connection is it. He is sitting there telling you that Dak Prescott and CeeDee Lamb's connection is like the connection of Joe Montana and Jerry Rice. And these Dak detractors and these Dak haters want to give him smoke and they want to give him heat because we can't get to a Super Bowl. The thing is, we need more pieces put in place in order for us to get to a Super Bowl. You can't just put that all on Dak Prescott. But now, thanks to Jerry Jones getting this deal done, we have the next four years to keep our Super Bowl window open. To keep the core guys of this team on this team. We will give Dak Prescott another four years to try and will this team to a Super Bowl championship in his tenure as the Dallas Cowboys quarterback. Dak, you got four years, bruh. I feel it in my heart that you can help win this team a championship, that you can help lead this team to a Super Bowl appearance and victory. I know it. I feel it in my heart. I feel it in my gut. And I thank Jerry Jones as much smoke as I've given you over the past several months over the offseason. I thank you for getting the deals done with your top players. Now the deals that have to be done next year, we got to get Micah Parsons signed. We got to get him ready to go. We have to keep D-Law. I know people kind of frown on D-Law and everything, but I believe he has more gas in the tank and he has more to offer the Dallas Cowboys. I believe that we should get Zach Martin done if Zach Martin doesn't want to retire. We need to retain him. We need to renew a contract so that we can use his services because he is one of the best, if not the best, right guards in the league. His veteran presence is something to behold and can be used whenever we're trying to condition and develop these new players that we find in the draft we are on the right track i don't care what a dallas cowboy detractor i don't care what a dak prescott hater says we are on the right track by signing dak prescott yes he is the highest paid quarterback he is the highest paid player in nfl history but the thing is The thing that people don't take into consideration is the fact that the salary cap continues to grow every single year. So Dak Prescott's record-breaking numbers is going to be probably 10 in two years. He's going to fall down to position 7 to 10 within two to three years. But it's over, Angry Cowboys fan family. It is over. Dak Prescott is signed. Thank goodness. I actually watched the Dak Attacks video and he was happy. Brother, I pray for you and I hope that you didn't cause a wreck or anything, but he was getting it in. He was excited and I am excited too. I'm thankful that our quarterback is here to stay for the foreseeable future. We don't have to go to the draft. We don't have to hope that Trey Lance gets it. We have our quarterback now. Thank goodness. And if Bill Belichick can notice Dak Prescott's talent, I know you can too. And I hope you would trust Bill Belichick's judgment because you want him here as our head coach. There it is. Your pick for our head coach is saying that Dak Prescott and CeeDee Lamb is something to behold. So instead of hating on Dak Prescott and blaming all the losses on him, Cherish the fact that you have a franchise quarterback that can get things done. Cherish the fact that you have a franchise quarterback that can get you to 12 and 5, three years running. Be thankful that we're not in quarterback purgatory looking for a franchise quarterback and not making it to the playoffs every year. We have our quarterback now. Dak Prescott is paid 
and I couldn't be happier. I swear, it's like I just got paid or something. But on some realness, the pocket watching can stop. The contract is done. This has been your man, the Angry Cowboys fan. Angry Cowboys fan family, what do you feel about the signing of Dak Prescott? What do you feel about going into week one with our quarterback and our wide receiver one secure in their spot? Y'all let me know that in the comment section. All right, let's have a conversation about it. But if you're digging the content and want to help get it out to even more Dallas Cowboys fans, Drop a like on the video and share it with your friends who are Cowboys fans. If you are DC for life and you're ready for this Cleveland Browns game, you're ready to root on our Dallas Cowboys no matter who's under center, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to get notified whenever I go live, release a video, podcast episode, or Madden 25 and College Football 25 gameplay. Like I told you, Angry Cowboys fan family, Be expecting a lot more videos from your man because the regular season has started. The people that dropped off during the offseason, they're all coming back and they all want that classy Cowboys content. So won't you come on over to the Angry Cowboys fan YouTube channel and get some of that. But this has been your man, the Angry Cowboys fan. Happy as hell that Dak Prescott is the quarterback for the foreseeable future. And I'm out. Dang, angry Cowboys fan, you done made it through the entire video. But if you want more content, you can definitely go to this video right here. Or if you want the latest episode of the Angry Cowboys Fan Podcast, you can go right here. But whatever you do, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. But remain DC for life.